Gary Hinterberg here, author of Crack the Customer Mind Code, Seven Pathways from Head to Heart to Yes. Let's dive into a look at the second of the seven pathways that align marketing messaging with how the mind processes information and makes decisions. In the first video, I introduced the need to identify the persona of our buyer. Now we need to stimulate the emotion of that individual to get attention. To be successful in stimulating emotion, we need to be aware of how one special filter in the mind's pathway works. It regulates the transition between the conscious and subconscious mind. In the parlance of brain physiologists, this filter is called the reticular activating system, or RAS. The RAS filters incoming information and affects what we pay attention to, how aroused we are, and what will not reach all of your brain. Before messages can gain entry into your higher thinking mind, input is assessed by the RAS. When the RAS sends the message to the conscious part of the brain, it's processed by the reactive mind. When the message stimulates emotions, the message is sent to the amygdala, the primal part of the brain that reacts in fight or flight mode. The reactions of fear, uncertainty, or doubt are powerful in stimulating emotion. For example, if we encounter sudden danger, we might freeze. Our blood pressure and heart rate may begin to rise with the release of stress hormones. The amygdala initiates all these reactions. When this powerful, intuitive response kicks in, the rest of your thinking is put temporarily on hold, giving you the undivided attention of your prospect. Another powerful concept I teach in Crack the Customer Mind Code is how to leverage a phenomenon called FOMO, the fear of missing out. Perhaps you've heard of it. Perhaps you've seen this in yourself or someone you know. And we'll explore how you can stimulate and be more deliciously persuasive and sumptuously effective when you use taste-related words. Words that stimulate taste-activated areas in the brain are known to be associated with emotional processing that can stimulate emotion. Also in Crack the Customer Mind Code, I've included 12 of the most common personas that I've come across in my experience. We'll look at examples of how to stimulate emotion for each of these so you can be more effective in your marketing campaigns. That's all for now. In my next video, we'll dive into the third pathway where we'll learn about the need to calm the mind after we have stimulated emotion. Come along as we continue our exploration.